Hey everybody, Sean here, and I hope you're doing well. The Church of England is who we're looking at today, so let's jump right in. And special thanks to Carrie Merle for sharing this. In a very recent article titled Desperately Divided Church, we read of even more problems developing in the Church of England. And if you're wondering what that spooky picture is, it's from another recent event involving an oil fountain. It looks like a cult meeting with witches around a cauldron. But hey, that's not what this video is about. This person here was appointed by the Bishop of Manchester to be the Archdeacon of Bolton and Salford. And this is a whole other topic that's already been addressed by many and accepted by many as well within the Church of England. And that's what led us to this blasphemous prayer. This new archdeacon wrote a prayer called Chuckling Wise Female God. Disgusting. And it reads, Holy God, chuckling wise woman, tender and strange, we bless you. To call Almighty God a chuckling wise woman, tender and strange, is blasphemy in the highest. Bless us, trouble us, bewitch us into delight in your love, mercy, and grace. Being bewitched is a reference to witchcraft and being put under a spell, as we see in Galatians 3.1 when Paul was asking them who had bewitched them. The New Living Translation states this as having an evil spell cast on them. And that's because in the Greek, that's what this word means. And it's only used once in the whole New Testament. So using this word in a prayer to God is hardly appropriate. It goes on to say, Christ, our sister, unite us in your holy bleeding. And that's about all we really need to read. Jesus Christ is not our sister, and any church saying such blasphemous things should be avoided. The article finishes off with a fair question. Is it possible to hold together a church that welcomes mini-golf and helter-skelter within a cathedral? Helter-skelter represents disorder and confusion, and which promotes these people who apparently wrote that the angel didn't want Mary to be obedient and that she regretted giving birth to Christ. Wow, now that's a whole new level of crazy teaching. Can a church like this stay together, or are they destined to fall apart? Well, here's a statement that speaks truth. When a denomination has no clear understanding of its core beliefs, it will find members believing in anything. And this isn't happening only within the Church of England. This is happening within the New Apostolic Reformation, the Demon Slayer Movement, and many others that are going beyond Scripture to teach and preach what the Bible does not. The solution is to read the Bible yourself and allow the Holy Spirit to teach you. To test the spirits and quit taking every word these people say as truth. In my personal opinion, the Church of England has been given over, but there is still hope for those in the church if they leave now. But if you decide to stay in a church like that, then you'll only have yourself to blame on Judgment Day. Repent, and as Revelation 18.4 says, Come out of her, my people, so that you will not share in her sins, and that you will not receive any of her plagues. We're going to leave it here for today, but feel free to leave your comments below. And until next time, take care and God bless.